our challenges is water and light so we need ngos to also partake solar powered energy is presently one of the biggest solution to earth's most threatening challenges climate change and greenhouse gas emission solar energy is not just an alternative solution it has long been a viable solution to nigeria's epileptic power supply powering africa initiative is committed to achieving solar revolution in africa as the organization has been in the forefront of providing various solar solutions to disadvantaged communities and public institutions on purely humanitarian basis powering africa initiative is a non-governmental organization with strong emphasis on solar revolution in Nigeria. While the FCTDA administration through the FCT Secondary Education Board continue to make giant strides in addressing issues of power supply and provision of infrastructure in the public secondary schools across the FCT, Powering Africa Initiative plays a complementary role through the launching of this robust collaborative initiative called Partnership to Light Up Schools Plus. The effort of the Secondary Education Board in achieving sound qualitative education in FCT uh, is something that it, uh, needs to be supported by other donor agencies, the general public, as well as uh, people who are passionate about education. Government has done a lot of things by providing qualitative infrastructures that can compete with any educational infrastructure in the world. But our just our major problem uh, is just this issue of uh, uh, power. FCT Plus is focused on providing a centralized solar system to power existing boreholes, basic lightings in the dormitories, walkway, classrooms for prep, library and FCT centers in selected schools across the six area council of the FCT. Of the six boarding secondary schools sampled, population of boarding students in each of these schools targets around 1,800 to 2,500 students. I'm pleading on the government to please help us in the, in the aspect of electricity and water. We lack electricity in the aspect of preps. It's only for two hours, which is we use the generators for our prep. And we lack no enough water because of lack of light. We have a generator, we fine, but powering this generator requires a huge amount of money. On a weekly basis, we spend not less than 30000 If we can have a solar-powered, uh, submersive uh, water supply and the solar-powered electricity within the school, honestly, we'll be very happy. And it will go a long way to helping the students. There are already overbearing situations that the students face while studying and living in these interior locations where most of the schools are situated. But having to live there with the burden of power shortage will put the students at the risk of domestic accident. But really we want your help, especially in the area of uh, solar energy to empower the environment. We need something that will make the academic world easier for us. What more need to be said other than timely intervention. The intervention will provide solar power solutions to the target boarding secondary schools within the FCT. This will be of several multiplier effect, some of which is a well-lighted school compound and dormitories aided by solar power, easy access to water by solar-powered borehole. All these will make life easier and learning more enjoyable in a sustainable way. Partner with PLUS now, let's provide conducive learning environments for our children Let's also preserve our environment with clean technology.